Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we have a new parts that we're about to install to the 2018 WRX. So I'll just show you guys the parts that we have. Guys, what we have here is a uh, fog light kits. It comes with a diagram and it comes with a bracket for the fog lights. And this is the replacement for the OEM we have in the car. And this is the actual fog light itself. It comes with the stock yellow light, so we're replacing that with um, the 6000K, uh, I think bright white for the fog lights. And also we have the, it comes with the wiring harness, of course. So let's go do this, guys. So to remove the bumper guys, so basically we have six bolts in the top of the bumper. You have to remove those six bolts and three pop clips. Guys, about the pop clips, be very careful removing them because uh, they, they can get easily damaged guys. So be careful when you're doing that. And um, on the bottom of the bumper, there's like around six uh, pop clips also. And on the side for both sides, on front your tires like right right this side there's like a pop clip also on that one and which is on the other side also guys so let's go and remove the bumper After removing all the pop clips, this thing on the top should be coming right up, coming out. There you go. And let's just do the bottom one and then we can remove the bumper. After removing uh, all the six clips on the bottom, guys, plus the other side of the wheel on your left and the right, there's a clip like I show you guys. The bumper is ready to come out, guys. Let's do this one. All right, guys, the bumper should come out right now. There you go, guys. The bumper is off, so we're just going to go work our way in for the fog lights, guys. It took me a little bit time to uh, remove it because it's my first time doing it, so it's kind of hard, but uh, we managed to remove the front bumper. So guys, what happened is I removed the first cover for the stock OEM. Um, so it's basically easy, guys. There's a clip, clips like behind on it, like this one. 
behind the bumper right here and you just need to press it forward to push this back so to push it out so basically we have to install the other one guys the one that came from the package so guys uh, I have the new one right here lined up so basically guys you just have to uh, push it back in and it should right fit guys should be no problem fitting this one you just have to be gentle There you go guys exactly fit so what we need to do now guys is uh, do the other side and install the lamp the fog lights we should be good so guys we're in the second one so let's go and remove this guys and replace it with the, the one came in with the package. So, put this in the back. So this one is out guys, let's go for the other one. All right, guys, we're good. The second one is on, so let's just work our, you know, fog lights right now. So basically, guys, we're doing the left side first, and this is all provided from the fog light kits. So let's just go put this thing here so we can screw it, guys. And basically, just like that, and the first one, comes through here, comes through it there, and um, need to f fit in right. <coughs> there you go, and just like that, guys. So guys, the other one is in. So let's just go work on the other side, guys. So guys, we're on the right side right now and we're about to put in the one on the right. So let's go do this. Almost 
almost forgot this, guys. Very important, don't forget this. Or else you're not able to fit, uh, fit the screws in, guys. Also, there's a plastic right here. So guys, that's in, and let's do all the wirings, guys. So guys, bumper is removed, the lamps are installed. We're gonna do start our wiring right now, guys. Ja uh, guys, just an advice, please. Whenever you're working for your wirings, always remove the negative first, guys, just to be in safe side, okay? All right, let's do this. So guys, we're doing the wirings right now. So um, here's the relay and the red one will go to your positive battery. So um, basically, this is up to you guys how you're gonna run your wirings, guys. I'm not really picky as long as the wire is hiding and you can't really notice it or see it. So I start my wiring through here, guys. Um, for the passenger side in the front, I put it basically on this uh, metal part behind it. I went through and put it inside and I'm just gonna use some zip, zip tie. And you know, I run the other one through here, the connection, and I manage to pull it guys through this side. I'm gonna show you guys quick. I uh, may, I'm not sure, but where's, what is this hole right here? Do you see this hole right here, guys? I put the wire inside and manage to pull it from the behind right here. And here's my connection for my um, fog light. This is gonna be a connections, guys, right here. But like I said, it's up to you how you are in your wirings. So this is how I do mine. So it's easy right there for the fog light later on. And also guys, I already um, installed the 6000K uh, LED, which is right there. So it's basically ready guys, we're just gonna do the wiring and then we're all done. So let's go continue this one guys. So this one is ready for the passenger side. I'm just gonna use some zip ties and I need to figure it out the rest of the wire where I, where I can find a like a good spot to put them in guys so let's keep going so guys um i'm gonna show you guys this one right here um i put the zip tie right there to kind of straighten the wire right here guys you see this and from behind this metal a while ago then i put a zip tie right there right through here this one see that so basically this is my wire to go to the uh, switch uh, the relay I need to find a spot for this one and this one is for the other side the right side passenger connection for the LED and that's the 
wiring for our switch it's just this one right here guys so we're gonna keep continue uh, finding a good uh, spot for these wires so let's keep going so guys uh, right here basically the zip tie right here and zip tie right here and I run the relay right you can see my hands through here and inside that right there to go up next to the battery for this uh, positive connection so basically the relay is right it's right here guys right there and the fuse is right there also so we're only gonna find another way in for the connection inside the car and for the passenger side uh, driver side I mean connection for the LED so I run through everything here guys like by the front radiator right here guys I put everything right here by the radiator zip tie it's just up to you guys just find a good spot where you put the zip tie so it won't look messy so basically this is what I did guys so let's keep going so guys we're on the driver's side I found a way to zip tie uh, this connection right here see this guys right right here and you see the zip tie right here so I found I made like found a hole right here to go to the bottom right here and zip tie it and this is gonna be the connection for the driver's side for the LED and you have another wire right here which is we need to find a location for this one this is for the ground and for my other um, high beam and low beam I have a ground which is right right through here uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it through the video but I can see it from here right there I'm just gonna run this ground inside so um, let's keep continue this guys we're almost there uh, this is gonna be the quiet uh, part for me I don't know which is this red wire going see this guys I don't know where's this one going so I know that we have another ground right here and this one is gonna go to the switch for the um, LED inside the, inside the car so on that one I know there's a hole right through there on behind the tires going inside the car so I'll show you guys that in a minute so guys, what happened now is um, the harness, I ran it through up here also, at uh, the same time with the um, ground. And I just left the connection for the pass, uh, driver's side for the LED. So we're gonna go up here. Um, this is all the wiring right here, guys, as you can see right there. And it's the last wire that we need is right here for the switch um, you, you guys see the cover on the other side right there I just uh, took this cover off on this side uh, right here so we can put the wire inside right here for this one you can put it run it inside through here and on the bottom right there uh, basically I'll show you guys right here there's like a plastic cover right there that you can uh, use the flathead screwdriver and uh, just pop that thing and you can run the you can run this wire inside through here so this basically will go inside here it will, it will run right here but um, um, I have a like I'm thinking guys I'm not sure how come this uh, uh, fog light kit doesn't uh, doesn't come with the the add fuse so basically, uh, this is what I did. Uh, the ground, I connect the ground uh, through here. You see this, guys? I added the ground right there. But um, the positive one, like I said a while ago, I'm not sure if I need to connect this or not, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, the add fuse, there's no, there's no add fuse on this kit. This is basically the last wire that I have so if i'm right 
I'm just gonna hook this up to the switch and we should be ready to go. I hope, you know, I don't mess it up or I don't make a mistake, but this kit doesn't come with a add fuse. So, but uh, there's a fuse on this one already, which is I'm kind of confused. I thought this one is the one that I need, but when I pop this, if I remove the fuse inside, there's an empty slot. So I put the fuse back and this is the relay right here. So I'm kind of confused on this kit. I just hope um, I'm thinking right now is the right one that I don't need to add any fuse anymore since um, there's a fuse right here already, guys. So, and I hope they make it easy that I just need to run this wire inside through here and to the switch and I'm ready to go. I just hope I'm right. But uh, let's see, guys. Cross finger. I hope nothing goes wrong. All right, guys. Hey guys, finally guys, the installation is done. Um, so what happened is, like I said, everything here is connected and I run uh, the wire through here on this side, remove the cover right here. And you'll see, uh, you have to go on your right side and you'll see the hole on the very top to run the switch um, uh, harness inside. I'll show you guys uh, the setup inside. Right quick. As you guys can see, my setup is, um, you see the, uh, the switch right here? Uh, it stays off when um, I turn off the car. But um, I made a mistake and so I corrected it. Uh, the other one is um, when I uh, remove the key, the light stays on. So you have to choose the right fuse um, in order for that not, not to do that, though, because basically you're wasting battery if you remove your key and that thing stays on. And um, on this one, you're not going to have an issue. I'll show you guys which uh, fuse that uh, is set up right now. It's right there. If you guys see the wire inside, I'm not sure if you guys see that, but um, it's kind of dark let me open the light uh, right there guys that's how it's set up right now and the wire is right there so that's how it is I'll show you guys how it works now Guys, I want to be more clear about the setup on the fuse because this uh, uh, relay or this horn, uh, this fog light kits don't have an add fuse. So you just had to uh, put the wire, the red wire right there inside on that fuse, guys. So I just want to show you guys quick. See how that the green light turned on guys? Right there. So let's turn on the fog lights. And let's show you guys how the car looked like. And that's how the car look like right now guys with the fog lights on i love the way they came out and let's go to the other side right there guys so that's how the car look like right now with the fog lights turned on so guys i think this is it we're done for today so if you guys have any question guys about the setup for the fog lights uh, just comments below and um, you know let me know guys if you have any question so I can answer you guys and help you guys out guys please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel and um, 
Let's see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys. Thank you.